Hey everyone, how are you doing? You have Mike here, and today we're going to build a skimmer that's going to go onto your fish tank, and it's going to help uh, remove some of the surface buildup that kind of goes on there, especially within our planted tanks. So this tank here, I've noticed, kind of is a little bit of an issue, and uh, today we're going to put together a little skimmer. Now I actually have this running on my tank, and I showed it to a couple people, and they were like, wow, we need to see a video of how you did this. Um, so it's a pretty basic build, uh, but basically what I did use was an AquaClear 30 pump. Now why I use an AquaClear 30 pump was because I had one, and uh, it's actually got some really cool stuff in the box, because this specific pump here is actually made to go, it's kind of like a DIY type deal, uh, because you can actually use it for different things. And it comes with some really cool attachments. So I'm just going to come and show you a couple of them here. Um, not advertising this pump, I'm just saying this pump is really easy to make what I'm about to make. So it's got a back, so this actually just holds on to the tank and it sits over. Um, it also comes with another attachment too where it's just got the suction cups. Um, but then it comes with some other little doohidgies or gadgets. And I don't even know what some of them do actually to be honest, but this thing here, oops, this thing here kind of would work really well as a, as a skimmer head as well. Um, I don't know if you guys can kind of see the light through there, but uh, yeah, it's kind of got a screw and you can adjust it. And this would work as a, as a skimmer if you could make it kind of float somehow. Um, I don't know, something to possibly look into, but that's not what we're doing here today. So what I actually have is I have a skimmer from an old Sun Sun. Now, with this on the Sun Sun itself, it's pretty useless. Um, I don't really find the Sun Sun. This works very well in a Sun Sun. <laughs> so what I have done is I went to the dollar store and I have found one of these squeezy bottles. And I uh, basically cut off a couple inches. And uh, to make it really simple, all I did was just made a tiny hole into the bottom of this bowl. And that kind of just slides through basically like this. Um, I have a piece of foam that I've cut out that kind of fits in there perfect. And it kind of fits in there like this. Now, the cool thing about this is I have shrimp in my tank. So if my shrimp get sucked in here, because it's possible that they go up top and they get brought in, that they're not going to get sucked right into an impeller. They're going to have this kind of area here, which I can see this in my tank. So I could see that there's a shrimp in there, I could stop the pump, and, and obviously I, I check my tanks quite often. Um, just walk in the room, fish room, and you know, just enjoy my fish. So I would notice um, a shrimp stuck in this side of the tank. So I would immediately stop my pump, pull it out, and, uh, and start it back up. So this is a cool little design, and once I connect it, it slides right over the pump. Now I gave myself a little bit of clearance because it, it can float, it's got a floater on it which is really cool. And uh, I could turn it any way I would like. To pull this off I can actually turn it right around to this side so you can have your viewing window on any side that you would actually want it on. And just an overall a neat little build that works really well. And it's compact, like I said, it's not something that's going to look super big or even that ugly in your tank. Um, compared to, let's say, the regular pop bottle or, or something. And I've had this running in my tank now for probably about a good week and a half, and it's done an amazing job uh, removing the, the oils from the top of the tank. So um, I'm not even using lots of sponge, just enough to, uh, to pull out what I need. So, like I said, this is a really cool build that I put together in a couple minutes. I used a squeeze bottle, which I got from the dollar store. I paid a dollar for this bottle. Um, I believe they even have some in different colors. I'm not 100% sure about that, but uh, it cost me a dollar. And if you're looking for an attachment um, like this, this is from a Sun Sun, so I'm pretty sure if you looked online, um, Amazon or something, you'd be able to find this part. And uh, it probably wouldn't cost you more than a couple bucks. And if you have one of these AquaClear pumps hanging around, like these things here make awesome little filters. Another reason why I kind of like this one too is it is controllable. Now that would be totally off and this would be totally on. I don't need a full totally on uh, because it does, if you have it on full all the way it's going to suck some air because it's just too much power. Um, 
but I find with it almost on, not fully on, it actually does a really good job and, uh, and it works really well. So let's get this into the tank and just kind of show you how it works. And so here you go, here it is in action. Now as you can see it's doing a pretty good job. Um, it should probably clear up this tank here in about good 15 minutes. So it's been on the tank for about 15 minutes now and as you can see there is no scum at all compared to how it was earlier. Um, I think it's done a pretty good job. It actually looks pretty good. Um, you can see that there is kind of some debris um, inside the filter already. Some floating plant debris and uh, it's actually got rid of it pretty good. So. I'm happy with it. I can, I'm happy that I can still have my observation window where I can once again look for shrimp if something were to get sucked in there. Um, so yeah, I would like to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it and you guys all have yourself a great day.